Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 8th through the 14th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? One more card, please. What do we have for Sagittarius? Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. Gavel. Involvement with the law. Wow, this don't look good. <sighs> so we do have dealings with a woman. Uh, Somebody is acting stupidly and there's going to be involvement with the law. What more can I say? Uh, something there's a woman here that's probably causing problems could be um, someone is behaving stupidly there's going to be involvement with the law and the, and the law may not step in this week it may step in, in in the in the near future but we'll see what happens what do we have for Sagittarius What do we have? There it is. The world card. So the world card is a card of success. It is a card of success. A very happy ending. Coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. So there's going to be a happy ending for you. There is. There's nothing for you to worry about. You, you could be dealing with somebody who is against you. Okay, this is somebody that is against you. They may be trying to do something to hurt you. Okay, they may be doing something stupid. I think that it is going to bite them in the butt. Okay, because you're going to have a happy ending. You deserve it. You deserve it. It's been a long time coming. This is the end of a cycle for you. You're about to start a new life. It, you probably are going to have to remove yourself from this person's existence. Whoever that person is. I feel like this person has dark hair. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, two of Wands. Reverse. Could be a sudden departure. Could be a sudden arrival. Stuck. Stuck at a, you're stuck right now. You need to focus on the future. You will you can, you can't keep going back to something. There's something you keep going back to. You need to stop. You can't keep going back. You need to make a decision. You need to stick to it. You need to focus on your future. Okay. Now look at the world. This there's a world. There's a the world is in your hands. It's a great big world out there. It is. You have an opportunity to expand or to go someplace else, but it will require you to not look back. Overwhelmed. You you have a lot of responsibilities. You have you're carrying some weight. You're carrying some burdens. You may you may be feeling uh like there's too much on your plate. It feels like you're trying to do too much. You're trying to do too much. You're not really seeing where you're going. You're you're too busy. You're 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 missing something. You need to you need to let go of some of your responsibilities. You need to slow down. You need to take a minute. You need to take a break. You need to get yourself unstuck from a situation that you have been burying below the surface, okay? You've been hiding behind a wall. You've been hiding behind a wall. You've been ignoring something. Work and work and work and work, 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 or just uh, wearing a mask even. It feels like you've been ignoring something, you know, not seeing. You've had some sort of, like, barrier right in front of your eyes that has been uh, 
clouding your vision okay your vision has been clouded by all your responsibilities and your demands that you have brought on to yourself to bury something you're burying something um, but whatever it is that you're holding on to that that is overwhelming you that is holding you back that is it's obviously exhausting it's draining you um, it's all about to come to an end because tens are completions Okay, so in the when the world card is a completion, it's the biggest completion of them all. Okay, this is the end of a cycle. It is it's the end of a journey for with something you've been holding on to, and I feel like you've been holding on to it. I don't know, maybe to prove a point, maybe it's to prove a point to everybody around you, or to prove your stability, or to prove your security, or to or prove something to yourself. Who knows what it is? But I feel like you've been at this crossroads for a long time. Thinking, you know, should I should I just stop doing this or, or should I keep going? I'm telling you right now, I think that you should stop doing this. This has reached the end, okay? The world card is the end. This journey is over. It's time for you to let this go and go down that new path that you've been thinking about going down. Just do it. Just do it. Three of Cups. Now, Three of Cups is happiness. It's reunion. It's celebration. It could be drinking, having fun, um, getting together. There could be, a, I think I already said it, there could be a reunion or a get together with friends, socializing, talking, having fun. Um, but I feel like you got so many demands. I feel like, I mean, for some of you, it could be dating. It could be socializing. You probably have some options here, but you may not be seeing them clearly. You're, it doesn't look like you are. It doesn't feel like you're seeing the options clearly. It may, it may, some of you could be, you know, partying, partying to... Uh, No, it is. There is some sort of partying here for some of you, not all of you. There's partying, celebrating. There's an opportunity for a celebration, but with that Ten of Wands, it's overwhelmed, too busy, can't, can't do it, too much, there's too much going on. I feel like you're carrying some sort of baggage that you need to let go of. Some of you could be a third party situation. You have to make a choice. Twos are about choices. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice between two paths. In a third party situation, it doesn't have to be a lover. It can, but it can be three people. It can be two people. You obviously have to make a choice in regards to your happiness. What's going to make you happy? What is going to make you happy? You're stuck right now. You need to get unstuck. You need to, you need to drop this load. You need to drop this whole situation and just go, turn around and walk away. Seriously. The whole world is in your hands. It's a great big world out there. And the world card is a card of accomplishment. It's a card of success. It's about living in the present. Right now you're living in the past. You know, you're in a situation where, you know, you're overwhelmed. And it, it's going to take a lot of <laughs> courage. It's going to take courage to let something go that you're holding on to. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Now, this may have to do with a home. It may have to do with a family situation. There could be a family feud that is going on, a family business. Um, this is bad business, marrying for money, um, staying in a relationship for money or for security. It doesn't have to be money. It can just be security, the security aspect of it. I feel like there's problems at home or problems where you live, or problems with where you work, or problems in some sort of establishment. It's not stable, it's not secure, it's not comfortable. And I feel like there's just a lot of, it's very overwhelming. And I feel like it's definitely time for you to go down that new path with that two of wands reversed. I feel like you've been indecisive, you've been going back and forth, you know. Um, we, look at this, we have completion, completion, major completion. So that we have you you there there is a cycle that needs to end. The only one that can end it is you. There could be a change of residence in the future. Wherever you're at, there's there's no money or there's no stability. It could be either one. There's no money, there's no stability, it's not comfortable, there's fighting, there's uh Instability. 
Ooh, five of pentacles reversed. So I feel like we have a turning point here. I mean, there's been some sort of neglect or abandonment or victim mentality, not wanting any help, not willing to ask for help. You know, when there's help available, there's help available here. I feel like this is a turning point. I feel like you are going you you probably have somebody around you, could be a friend that can help you, but you may have to let go of something first. I feel like there is something somebody that can help you to build up your stability, but it will require you to let go of something that you're hanging on to. And it for some of you it could be drinking. It could be drinking or it could be a third party situation. Um five of pentacles reversed. getting some sort of help i feel like you're going to be you have an opportunity to get some sort of help from somebody you may need to ask for it you may need to ask um i feel like you're in a situation that is uh um, totally draining it drains your money it drains your your um your insecurities you know from inside it drains you it makes you feel insecure I feel like uh, you need to abandon this situation. Whoever you're dealing with, it feels like they've already abandoned you. You know, it feels like they've already abandoned you. They're 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 not taking care of you. They may they may uh, party with you or they may have fun with you, but it doesn't feel like they're taking care of you. Ooh, five of swords reversed. Now this is some sort of battle it's betrayal it is a hostile situation you're involved in a hostile situation with somebody i think there's going to be a fight if there hasn't been already and it's with this person right here we ha we have somebody here that is is very uh egotistical this person wants to win at all costs they don't care who they hurt and somehow you're involved. You may not even know who you're dealing with. You notice you're, you're working, you're doing your thing, you're working really hard or you're focused. You're not seeing it. You notice you're looking over here. This person is very smug. You're dealing with somebody who is extremely smug. And I feel like this person is, gonna, is, is battling with you. And I feel like um, this person has a victim mentality or it could be you that somebody has a victim mentality here and, and it's time to walk away. You notice we got these, these people walking away. You, you seriously need to walk away. You need to walk away from something. I feel like um, somebody is going to or they have walked away. My advice is to not, not engage. Don't go down that path again. If they've walked away, they've walked away. Let them go. This journey is over. This cycle is over. This story is over. This project is over. This is like a graduation, okay? You've graduated. You're not that same person anymore. Who needs to fight all the time? Who needs to be ghosted? Who needs to be abandoned? Nobody. So anyway, I feel like this is the end of abandonment because I feel like you're, I feel like you are, um, something about happiness. You know, I feel like you're looking for happiness. I feel like you've missed an opportunity for happiness or you've been too focused on everything to notice an opportunity for happiness. There could be a family feud this week as well. But I don't know if I said that or not because I things leave me as quick as I say them. Um, so I do feel like there's some sort of family feud this week or it doesn't it could be at work, it could be with anybody. It could be with a friend could be with a friend there's going to be some sort of feud but i feel like this feud is going to come to an end i feel like it is exhausting you and i feel like uh there's been some lies there's been some manipulation you're dealing with a trickster you're dealing with a very uh a master manipulator this is somebody who is very skilled a pathological liar perhaps um this is somebody that um is definitely hostile and is willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want and if it means getting you in trouble then that's what they'll do so i feel i do feel like you got somebody here that is is going to try to do something to get you in trouble but i i, I feel like it's going to come back to bite them in the ass i do i i, I don't feel like they're going to be successful i think you're going to be successful this is somebody who wants to win at all costs and i feel like it they're the ones that are going to be 
they're going to have some sort of total ruin. They're the ones that are going to experience a loss. Okay, because I mean, you think about Fies. Fies are about change. They're about freedom. They're about conflict. They are. They are. It's about change. It's, that isn't easy. And I feel like somebody, you're going to be going through a change that isn't easy. You are. But, and you have somebody that is against you that's going to make it even harder. But it's because you have been resisting change. And I can see that you have been. You've been resisting. You've been staying in a situation that isn't very comfortable, you know. And, it, and, you know, it's time to let this all go and be happy. But if you don't let go, it's all up to you. Like I said at the beginning, then, the, then at some point, you know, the world card and the tower card are both universe cards. They're my major universe cards. The universe will, you know, push you over the edge. So there is some, I think that there's going to be a, a, some sort of feud this week, whether it's at work or at home or with somebody that you're dealing with. Um, and I feel like this person... Um, is going to do something. They feel like they are above the law. This is somebody that feels like they are above the law. And I feel like they're they're not going to get their wish, okay? They're not going to get what they asked for. You're, they're, they're, it's like they, they think that they have, are so powerful, whoever this person is. This person thinks that they are powerful. They think that, they, they, you know, they, they may even think that they can do black magic. They may think that they're God or something, you know? So this is some, but they can't. They can't. This is somebody who, th it's, nobody has that power, just saying. There's only one uh, entity in this world that has that power, and it ain't a human. So anyhow, um, we have somebody here who thinks that they are powerful. They think that they are extremely powerful, that they have some sort of power over you. The answer is no, they don't. They don't. So I think that they're going to, they're going to, I feel like whoever you're, you're dealing with is being stupid. <laughs> this person is being stupid and I feel like they are powerless to the situation, even though they're going to do something stupid. They are going to do something stupid. They could, and somebody could, uh, you know, I don't know, end up behind bars. I hate to say that. Um, somebody could end up at behind bars because of their stupid behavior. One more card. Ah, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm not sure. Everything's going to work out in your favor, though, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh, the devil reversed is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. This is severing ties, freedom, uh, disaster. I feel like there is a disaster. I feel like we have somebody here that is angry and they want to fight. They want control. We talked about this already. And I feel like you're going to be severing ties with somebody. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. You're going to be severing ties with somebody this week that is, that is uh, really pushing your buttons. This person's going to push your buttons. Um, and I feel like the law could get involved, whether it's karma, the universe, or the uh, judicial law. Good luck.